Hi everyone, welcome back to the Cocktail Blog. I'm Steve, the bartender, and today we are making an uh, Olivito. Olivetto. The Italians out there, Olivetto. Olivetto. The Italians, you know what I'm trying to say. I'm pretty, uh, I think so, I hope so. Uh, this cocktail was created by Pip Hansen, uh, and it's on the menu at Marvel Bar and my wife was trying to find out what the most searched cocktail is in 2020 during the pandemic time. And in Minnesota, this outranks all other cocktails apparently. So, Minnesotan, Minnesotans? Minna... People from Minnesota. <laughs> Do you know of this cocktail? Let me know in the comments below. Um, it is essentially a gin sour with the addition of olive oil and liqueur 43. I have seen some variations out there calling for Cointreau in place of Liqueur 43. So if you do want to recreate this, you don't have it, change it up to Cointreau. Change it up to another liqueur and let me know how it goes. So this one calls for 60 mil of your preferred gin. I'm just using Beef Eater. It's my kind of go-to house, house gin. Not that I run a bar, but sure, house gin. I'll call it that. Workhorse spirits for those in the in the states. I think you, that's what you guys call it. Uh, Thirty mil, one ounce of fresh lemon juice. And then we've got seven and a half mil, one quarter ounce of simple syrup. And for the first time ever, never used olive oil in a cocktail. See how this goes. Fifteen mil, half an ounce of olive oil, and then liqueur forty-three. I got accosted last time. I said liqueur forty-three, vanilla liqueur. Um, it's not a vanilla liqueur. It has other spices, herbs, botanicals but vanilla is the predominant flavor. So I'd say um, probably more so vanilla, cinnamon, uh, a bit of citrus in there. There's other spice. So not vanilla liqueur. Liqueur 43. Seven and a half mil. One quarter ounce. And now we dry shake, but specifically this My wife is giving me daggers in the background. Of course, before I emulsify the egg white, I need to put the egg white into the drink. Would be helpful. <laughs> Ramos Gin Fizz has cream, egg white, and you want to emulsify and shake it a lot. This recipe calls for shaking it like 200 times. So it's gonna be a, quite a boring video just watching me shake for a while, but stay tuned. Are you counting? No. No. Sorry? That was good. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know that I don't have a... I don't have another shake technique. I've done the same thing. So to try and, <laughs> I can't do something different. <laughs> Just wait until you get cat cam. You'd love to see what she's doing behind the camera.
Surely that's too much. I lost count of about 25. <laughs> I wasn't really paying attention, to be honest. It looks no different to if I shook it 20 times, but that's what the recipe says. Shake for another 12, 15 seconds. Into a chilled rocks glass it goes. If you want to see another cocktail with lots of shaking, then check out the Ramos Gin Fizz on Cara from Behind the Bar. Her channel is fantastic, and I was recently involved in the Ramos Gin Fizz when a whole bunch of bartenders digitally got together and shook a cocktail. <sighs> it's got this really greeny yellow color to it. And when I was pouring that, it definitely looked like it had this intense, thick viscosity to it. Totally unique, silky meringue texture. Yeah. It does have a really velvety, thick texture to it from that olive oil and the egg white, of course. There's an olivetto. Cheers. Doesn't smell eggy. Like, you don't really get like a an olive kind of nose to it. It's really clean, actually. Really bizarre. That's, it's got a kind of, like you think that by adding olive oil, you get this like oily kind of um, film on your mouth, but it's actually quite the opposite. Like I'm getting a lot of dryness um, and the olive kind of, the, the, the typical sort of kind of salinity or the salt from olive oil is you feel it in the back of your mouth. It's bizarre. It's very clean, very crisp. It, the flavor doesn't actually linger very long. It just kind of drops off quite quickly. I feel like you could add a little bit more of the liqueur 43, add some more cinnamon and spice into it. Interesting, like this, this must be obviously a, a cult classic in Minnesota. A lot of people have tried this out at, at their local Marvel bar, maybe. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers. Hi everyone, welcome back to the cocktail bar. Cocktail bar? <laughs>